Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 27 of the Lico Day Challenge, a Tuesday. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm and, yeah, and the video and so forth. Um, hope y'all are having an okay week, an excellent week, whatever you like. Um, yeah, end of September, a couple of days left. Let's get them. Let's go, 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 go. Uh, push dominoes, 8.38. There are n dominoes in line. We place each domino vert vertically upright, and we sometimes we, we push some dominoes left or the right. Uh, okay, so then when we go to do, 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 it stays upright. Okay, so the left pushes the one next to one on the left. Okay, so what does this mean? This one means wait, they didn't draw, they drew one for example, two, but not one. Okay, fine. Uh, so okay, so I see. So the dot is a domino, and L push forces is an L. Um, and then dot if it's not pushed or if it's standing still, right? Uh, okay. How do I, inter let me, I'm just reading the output and kind of mapping it to here. Um, okay, so the third one is still because it didn't move, but, and this other one is still because there's left and right. Okay, I mean, um, hmm. I think there are a couple of ways you can phrase it, um, and it is just that whether a domino is closer to a left or closer to a right. Um, of course, if you do it naively, it is going to be n square. So let's not do that. Let's uh, let's actually pre-calculate the closest left and the closest right. And oh yeah, uh, or how and not be more precise, um, left from the right side and right from the left side, right? So yeah. Um, Yeah, and basically what we want to do is, um, okay, so let's say we have n is equal to length of dominoes, um, then left is equal to, say, do, 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 do. Um, let's say infinity, right? Infinity times n, and I always said infinity is equal to 10 to 20, works mostly for me. And then now we go from right to left, because we're going to see the closest, um, the closest uh, to the from right to left, and this is actually similar to was it diff or the the Q degree of the contest if you did that one where you know you just pre calculate you know the closest one maybe I would misremember that one though something similar to that in any case so yeah so if dominoes of i is equal to um, l then left of i is equal to zero. Otherwise, left of i is equal to left of i uh, plus one plus one, right? Something like that. Um, yeah, I mean it's a little bit awkward because just because this is uh, uh, i plus one, you know, i plus one has to be less than n or something like this because otherwise then this is just We'll just keep it at infinity. I think that's okay. It's a little bit awkward, but it's a little bit okay. Um, yeah, and maybe uh, the question is, can we generalize this? Uh, yes, a little bit. So let me rewrite this actually. Um, yeah. Let's go from left to right, just to make it simplified a little bit. Um, right, and then now we can just write it more naturally. Well, at least like harder to make mistakes maybe. So with dominoes is equal of i is oops, Okay. Dominoes of i is equal to right, then we set right of i is equal to zero, right? Else if I guess else if um i minus one is greater than zero, then right sub i is equal to right sub i minus one plus one, right? And of course, this can go over infinity per se, but that's fine. And the reason why I kind of delete the other piece and wrote it this way is so that now we can abstract it a little bit. Um, so then we can go left, uh, uh, closest, maybe something like this. Um, and then you have a, an array, we just call it dominoes, and um, a direction, say, right? Something like this. And, you know, and, and it's still... Duh, 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 duh. Um, 
Yeah, and then here we just set it to direction, right? And then now we can say right is equal to cosist of dominoes. Um, but we actually want the n outside as well. I mean, eh, eh, okay, we could reuse it, fine. Um, and right, and then now left is equal to cosist of dominoes in reverse, left, and then of course we reverse the answer anyway. Um, okay. So then now we have left and right, and, and we are able to do the abstraction in a very quick way. And yeah, and also, of course, if you're doing uh, TDD or just like testing, which you should, uh, you can also just test this now, and that makes it easier to kind of, you know, yeah, just makes it easier to do it, um, except if I'm wrong because I forgot to return the right. Okay, fine. Uh, but yeah. And then now we can just do for i in range of n. Um, we also want to, I think the one thing that we might be, have to be a little bit careful with is just infinity values. So we can do something like left of i is equal to min of infinity, left of i. Um, just, I mean, maybe you could handle it earlier as well, to be honest, but I'm just going to do it this way just to be a little bit clear. And then here we go. If left of i, oh, we have, let's say we have an answer array, right? Um, I like using none because if you forgot to fill something in, you'll see it on the, ex on the output. Versus like if you have a default value, I mean, maybe it'll give you a good answer, but on the debugging, it may mess you up a little bit. Um, and this one is easier to see, I think. Um, okay. So basically, well, first of all, we want to say a n sub i is equal to uh, dominoes of i, right? Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter because if this is zero, then it will just be that one anyway, right? So we'll do, now we want the closer one. If this is less than y sub i, then answer sub i is equal to left, else or else if left sub i is greater than y sub i, and sub i is equal to r, else, and oops, why did that? Hmm. Okay, I don't know. It's equal to period, right? Um, do we want in a string? Okay, we do want in a string. So then we just return, you know, we join into a string. That's pretty much it. This is going to be linear time, linear space. Hopefully it's also right. It, it doesn't matter what it is if it's not right. I see. Hmm. <clears throat> Seem to have forgotten a case, or maybe I'm just really wrong. Oh yeah, I mm, because basically this is saying that um, this left. I actually thought about this case, but then I I was too too slow to kind of remember it uh, while I was typing this out. <clears throat> Excuse me, but uh, but yeah. Uh, we also need to reset, that's all, I forgot to reset, that's why. But that's the good thing about this abstraction, is you only have to correct the code in one place. So here, um, if this is equal to direction, we actually you know, want to set this. Um, I think, else if dominoes of i is equal to period, then, um, then we, I guess, do this actually, do this thing. Um, and then else, if this is the opposite direction, then we actually want to set it, this is equal to infinity again. Um, yeah, I guess, yeah. Okay, there we go. So yeah, so I think that, that was a, a, a misfortune, if you say, a mistake, a typo, eh, more than a typo, just forgot. Uh, to be honest. But as you can see, that's the beauty of abstraction, right? Is that because of this, we fix it by fixing one place and we don't have to do it in two places. Even this, to be honest, we can fix it in one place, right? We can just be like, uh, do, 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 do. And then now we we could get rid of it in two places, right? Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully this is actually right. Otherwise, then it doesn't matter how pretty the code is if it's wrong, right? Let's give it submit. This is going to be linear time, linear space. Hopefully it's also right. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know why this is so much slower. Hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, 910 day streak. So that's kind of nice. Why is this that slow? This is linear, so I don't... I mean, I guess we do a little bit more linear than we can. I think that is one thing is that if you do it, if you write two for loops like this way, um, it is a little bit faster only because, you know, you're not doing two reverses. But 
Um, especially if you're, you know, writing in a contest situation, um, you know, you just want to write them as fast as possible. That said, obviously there is, especially lead code is a little bit awkward because sometimes you do one off time and one off space and all this stuff. So I don't know. Uh, okay, cool. That's pretty much all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Linear time, linear space. I think I don't have to explain that deeply into this one, even though we did a little bit more linear time and space constant but yeah uh that's all i have so stay good stay healthy to good mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye